Hello and welcome once again to Living Supernaturally uh, where we meet to um, look into the Word of God, uh, inspired by the Word of God and we learn to apply God's Word. God's Word is very interesting. Uh, these are His thoughts, His plans, His desires for us. Um, these are His desires for us as God's people. And in fact, uh, when we look into the Word, we see that God has placed there several pictures or blueprints for the people of God. for you and I to develop into to aspire to desire and to be transformed into that because that's God's plan and that's God's will for us so today we look at one of the blueprints that God has for us God considers us or we are called the bride of Christ so there are several lessons that we can we can learn from this in the old testament we see that uh, you know there were three prophets who who declared this that the people of god are the bride are uh, you know are the bride of god and um, uh, and they talked about god's relationship with his people in terms of a groom with a bride so uh, the prophets isaiah jeremiah and hosea talked about this jeremiah talks about the fact that um, you know he issues a call and he speaks and he says uh, this is what god says that he will take you one from a city and two from a family and i will bring you to zion for i am married to you hosea also talks about that in fact the entire book of hosea talks about how god deals with a wayward a wayward wife and uh, and he calls himself uh, the husband and um, isaiah also talks about that he says uh, you know um, he records that God saying for your maker or as I says that your maker is your husband uh, the lord of hosts is his name in the new testament also we see these a similar uh, theme and, and a picture of god relating to his people as as the as the bride uh, as the bridegroom and the people of god being called the bride so we we see the in the parable of the 10 virgins that uh, uh, expectation to receive the bridegroom or waiting for the bridegroom we also see uh, paul uh talking to the Corinthian church and his his desire to present the believers as a chaste virgin to Christ right and we see in the book of Ephesians that um, uh about Christ loving the church and giving himself for the church that he might present the church to himself as a glorious church without blemish um uh, or wrinkle so we we see this in the new testament so as the bride of Christ you know if God is desiring for us to develop in this area you know how what do we do so what are some characteristics that we see we see that the bride is lost in love admiration commitment to the groom so as believers we grow in our love for God we are strong in our commitment to the Lord and uh, we we of course grow in our admiration of the Lord uh, we also see that the bride adorns herself in what would please the groom the bride is not interested in pleasing everyone but the groom so so also we as believers grow in this knowledge and also uh intentionally walk in this that we do what pleases the groom that uh, we not here for popular opinion not to please everyone but to please god himself the lord jesus himself And thirdly we see that uh, the the bride is a recipient of the groom's unconditional love. So we open our hearts, open our lives to receive the love of God, his unconditional love. So uh, the love that casts out fear, the love that strengthens us, the love that really gives us the confidence uh, to to step out in faith and uh, and do some radical things in faith because of his love for us um the bride also has access as a special place uh, in the groom's heart so a place of closeness and intimacy the bride also keeps herself for the groom in holiness and purity and uh, does not settle for any other person so uh, from all this we see that we as believers we can develop ourselves or we can build ourselves and we can grow in this uh, revelation that we are the bride of Christ shall we pray father we thank you that uh, lord you've called us to this 
that it is your will, it is your plan and purpose that we be called the Bride of Christ. And uh, even as we learn today, God, that I pray that we will move in all of these areas, that we will grow in all of these areas, in our love for you, in our commitment, in our adoration of you, God, in, uh, in consecration, in holiness, God, in keeping ourselves, Lord, uh, for, for you, O oh God. And uh, may we do that. And I pray that even as we do that, may we experience more of you in us and through us, Lord. We thank you. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.